All right, what's going on, guys? Using Actions here, and welcome to an Outlast Whistleblower insane run we are going to be attempting today. Gotta grab the old camera. And I think I'm gonna try to do it with only one battery as well. We'll see how that goes, but for right now, I do believe I'm gonna be doing this with one battery. As you can see here, if I pause the game, there is no save option, which does indeed mean we are in, on insane mode. And if you're wondering why I'm starting here, it's because I kind of just wanted to skip like the first five minutes. And uh, I'm also going to be cutting out a lot of, you know, cut scenes and talking scenes and parts like that. If you guys do want to see those, feel free to check out my walkthrough on Whistleblower. But we're going to just kind of be sprinting through this in the dark somewhat. And uh, just see how it goes. Now these are always a bad idea to do live, mind you. <laughs> but uh, we'll just see how it goes. I mean, if I die, you won't be seeing this. So. Alright, first things first, we're gonna have to avoid our buddy, the wall right here, so I'm just gonna close that for a second. And I'm gonna cut this little talking scene out. Alright, back on the run again. And first jump step. Away from you, my guy. Oh yeah, and some tips for uh, insane mode. First off, I do recommend you do uh, very much so know what you're doing and what your objective is and where to go at all times, <laughs> or it's just it's gonna be rough for you. And also uh, know the enemy's capabilities. Some enemies in insane mode you can spare a hit from, like they can hit you and you won't die, but a second hit will kill you. And some enemies are one hit, such as Chris Walker and Eddie Gluskin, but those are towards the end of the game. So right now we just gotta kind of focus on keep moving and not getting hit twice. All right, that guy's not gonna do anything to us, luckily. I have to press this button and this door behind us magically locks itself. It's kind of incredible, but we're just gonna have to witness this uh, Outlast, you know, murder <laughs> in typical Outlast fashion. Of course, you know, nice, nice and bloody. And that dude just glares at us, walks off like a savage he is. And then the door magically unlocks, like so. <laughs> it's kind of incredible. <laughs> and the wall rider's gonna be after us for a split second. You know, I'm honestly surprised the wall rider isn't a bigger threat in the DLC. Like, you get chased by it a lot more in the first game. For sure. Oh, where's my door? There it is. <laughs> you remember what I said about uh, knowing where you're going? Yeah. <laughs> that is important. <laughs> Gotta run into everything here, running into dead bodies. Alright, now well, we're gonna meet our uh, friend of the cannibal, Mr. Frank here. Just cutting up a body, you know, in typical Frank fashion. <laughs> This is very dark, but I believe I can navigate my way through here. Okay, there's the wall, and there's the door. Okay. <laughs> and now we're gonna have our pretty much our real first in, like death possibility encounter here. But Frank's gonna come out to my left, out that door. We're just gonna keep running. Not even gonna worry about it. Not even gonna worry about it. Don't have time to worry about it. And that's that. This guy uh, has an itch that he wants us to itch for him. And I'm not really about it. I told him just to get some itch cream. <laughs> and this man politely knocks this door down and disappears so we don't have to deal with him. So I can appreciate that. And then Frank's back after us, but he's, he's way back there. Nothing to even worry about. So the next two plays I'm about to make are very risky, and you'll see what I mean. Alright, 
cook. <laughs> Alright, I don't feel like being cooked today, so I'm gonna bust out the back here. He's not too happy about that. <laughs> you know, I do suggest if you are kind of nervous about doing an insane run, uh, you also get an achievement, not only for completing the game and DLC on insane mode, but also not reloading your battery once. And uh, if you're nervous about it, I do suggest you just focus on uh, finishing insane mode by itself first, using you know as many batteries as you like. But uh, I'm just I don't know I'm feeling confident today, you know. So we're just gonna we're gonna try this. We're gonna see what happens. If I die, well you won't know because you're never gonna see this if I die. Now this part this is a little risky here. I am gonna get hit once, but I can spare a hit from Frank. He's a little ways back there. Then once we squeeze through that gap, we are good. You know, conserving the battery as best as possible. We're gonna use it here a little bit. Cause this next part is also great. Oh hey buddy. Kinda forgot that he was standing there, not gonna lie. This next part is also quite a risky move we get right next to him and he will swing on us he'll either miss us or he will hit us once but you know once again we can't spare a hit so we're just gonna walk up right next to him see he's right there yep he missed luckily sometimes you get hit there sometimes you don't Fall through here. I'm pretty sure we're good once we move that gap but I'm just gonna keep moving. Another great jump scare. <laughs> that I've become immune to. Alright. Now this part, he's always gonna be coming down this hallway right here. So we're gonna get him on us. So he runs after us and then we're just gonna go around the other way. Cool as that. Like so. Now the scary part in this section is going back. Because I'm going to turn that gas off and we're going to have to go back through that same area. And uh, he can be a little predictable now. He might be to our left, he might be to our right. We're gonna find out. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Trying to be as careful as possible not to run into him. Using my night vision just to kind of guide me through here a little easier. And he lost us. We were too quick, he lost us. He didn't even know where to look. And out into the uh, prison yard or whatever you want to call this section. What is this? I don't even remember what this section is actually called. Whatever. Doesn't matter. We're just going to run through it. <laughs> it's fine. We got places to be, things to do. And I got a video to upload. <laughs> so that's what we doing. Alright, now there's going to be two dudes that run through here with the... Ah! Wait. No, that's not here. That's the next section. <laughs> That's the jump scare section. Now there's going to be two dudes that run through here. That uh, we want to avoid. Because they uh, will slap you. With their batons. There's one, and there's two. That jump scare always gets me. Every time. Alright. Sprint down here. Turn this corner. And then one of my manses should be opening this door. There he is. 
I don't get too close to him because I imagine he'll uh, whack you with his stick <laughs> as well. So just kind of, you know, it's it's probably it's just kind of best to avoid everybody in this. Alright, and so we are going to be coming up on Chris Walker here very shortly. Good old thicky Chrissy, thick Chrissy poo. You know what? You know how it is. Actually, we are going to see the, uh, you know, naked twins that like to run around and you know play butt touch with each other. And they're just going to kind of walk out and just kind of stand here, just threatening me, I guess. So we're gonna just, you know, stay as far away from him. <laughs> and we're gonna get called a spoil sport because this asshole threw a head at me. <laughs> oh god, I gotta move. <laughs> I got stuck on that guy. That was a little scary. You know, that would be the way I go in insane mode is killed by that random dude throwing heads around. <laughs> that is the way I would go. You know, it would probably be wise of me to, like, just be quiet and record this, like, record the gameplay, and then I could talk over it afterwards. <laughs> just, like, an editing, but, you know, that that's not fun. You know, you want the live reactions, you know. That, that just wouldn't be any fun. Alright, so now we are about to get our ass beat by Jeremy Blair, and then we're going to see Chrissy Poo. So, let's make it happen. And, uh... Try and contact the police and fail epically. I just want to point out how his forehead gets like five inches larger. <laughs> I mean, look at that forehead. Damn. With our good friend Chrissy Poo. You know, throwing people through doors and shit. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna kinda get him on him, get him on us here, and then just kinda walk around this desk with him. Like so. Just kinda lead him around it. And then run for our lives. He should be way back there. Oh, yeah. He wasn't even through that doorway yet. There's Father Martin. Don't be afraid. Oh, God. One of them's coming. It's not even him anymore. Then Chris, uh, Chris comes from somewhere. I don't know where he comes from, but he's uh, behind us now, chasing us. Just gotta flash my camera, kind of as a safety, kind of as a precaution. Okay, and we are good. We are making pretty good time, it looks like too. But uh, yeah, like I said, I will be cutting out any kind of lengthy, uh, you know, cutscenes and just you know stuff people have already seen before, since you know. An insane run, you know, you don't want to just watch all the cutscenes, you know, you want to see the, uh, you know, possible near deaths and terrifyingness, you know. <laughs> I know, I get it. Alright. Let's say we're doing okay managing our battery. So, I'm going to kind of use a little bit of it here, just, you know, more or less as a precaution once again. And I know you think I might be able to actually see, kind of, when I'm running through those dark places. I really can't. <laughs> I really can't see where I'm going. It's more just I memorized, you know, where I'm at. You know. I've, I've been through this a couple times. 
Needless to say. And now the Joker is going to be trolling us. Going to turn the damn power back on. That laugh just always reminds me of the Joker. Now, right here, we are going to get hit once again. I'm going to whip my camera out just so I don't get stuck on any ledges. Because uh, this guy could kill us. He very well could do it. <laughs> so we're going to get smacked. And then we're going to run. And he's definitely looking to punch us again. <laughs> Flash this on real quick, make sure I don't get stuck anywhere. Alright. I can't even see if he's behind me, it's so dark. Oh yeah, he's coming. He's a little fast. And then he quits chasing you once you get through that door right there. Alright, so far so good. Next up, we will be coming up on uh, Eddie Gluskin here pretty quickly. Where's that ladder? There it is. I was like, it's, I know it's right here. Alright, I'm just glad there's no more jump scares. Anybody? Anyone? You gotta let me know in the comments. If, you, if you know, any of these jump scares get you, you gotta let me know when. <laughs> Alright, this jump kind of terrifies me. Okay. Because <laughs> if, you, if you fall, if you miss that jump, then uh, you're dead. And uh, jumps in the Outlast games are uh, broken as hell. <laughs> Needless to say. So. It's, it's kind of spooky. You know, they managed to even make just jumping scary. You know, not only getting chased and jump scared throughout the game, but just jumping. Like, I mean, look at this. Whoa. <laughs> oh, fear of heights. Oh, yes. They nail everything. See, Waylon just, you know, he chills here for just a couple seconds, then he's already up. I'm like, dude, I'd lay there for like five hours if I was here. I would take a nice little nap right there. But, you know, Waylon's, you know, Waylon or me, you know, right now we don't have time for that. I'm probably going to use a, a little bit of my camera here just to kind of keep me on track of where I'm going. So I don't get too mixed up in this maze of crap <laughs> everywhere. And there's, uh, I think his name's Dennis, which, which is the guy with uh, multiple personalities. Always uh, makes me think of that movie called Split. Every I couldn't think of it when I was doing my walk there, and then everybody told me in the comments it was Split. So I was like, Ah, oh, yes, <laughs> that's the one. And that hanging dude scared the shit out of me when I first played. So did he, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, where am I going here? Where am I going here? Hello? There it is. <laughs> like I know I gotta squeeze through somewhere. Yeah, we're you know a little bit below half a battery. Isn't too bad. We're about to lose our battery anyway when we get kidnapped by uh, Eddie. So I might as well just use it. <laughs> um, I know I gotta. Okay, yeah, I was like, I know I gotta squeeze through the wall again somewhere. Alright, now we're gonna have to dodge Dennis here. There he is! What do you think? Oh, he'll do. Wait, what is he doing? Give him to the groom. Come here! Once we agree. I need him to chase me. Alright, yeah, take a sweet ass time. Whatever works. We gotta go through that door. Alright. Oh, and it is good old Eddie Gluskin time. Here comes the bride. Oh, joy. 
We're not gonna take a look at this graphic scene to my right. We're just gonna <laughs> pace ourselves around it. And here's Eddie. God. That's so creepy. <laughs> All right, now Eddie will kill us in one hit, or if he gets us or grabs us, it's over. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get get him on me here. And then we're gonna sprint all the way back here. And he should be following. Yeah, pretty quickly behind actually. Okay. Now we're gonna sprint through the door he came from. Conveniently enough. Right here. My camera's starting to flash a little bit. It's all good though, we're about to lose it anyway, so. God, he's so creepy. In my opinion, he's one of the creepiest uh, Outlast characters out of the entire, like all the games, entire series. He's one of the creepiest, for sure. Not only just him as a person, but you know, like what he wants to do to you as well, you know? Like we're not gonna get into it, but you know, we all know what he wants to do. And if you don't, mm. <laughs> Ah, yeah. Just, yeah, you'll figure it out if you go watch someone else's walkthrough. You know, a proper walkthrough, not a speed run. I could not be so beautiful. He's already... And he wants me to have his baby. That <laughs> has an added touch. Alright, so now we're gonna have a limp the rest of the game. So that's awesome. <laughs> oh god, speaking of injuries, I just popped the hell out of my wrist. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> that is what I'm trying to say. See, I wish it was that easy. I wish he was like, then die. And then he would just leave us alone. But he can't do that. <laughs> He's got to be the creepy, annoying bastard he is and chases everywhere. All right. So now it is time for the uh, torture scene. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that out since it's pretty lengthy. Once again, if you do want to see you know, all the cutscenes in a proper walkthrough, you can check out uh, my you know, original series, my walkthrough on this. So uh, yeah, I will see you guys in just a second. You know, I still don't know who that is that saves us, but I hope they know I appreciate them. <laughs> Alright, so we're back on the run. No camera battery, so might as well not even use the camera. Because it's basically completely useless. Now right here, I'm going to try to get him to chase me around this table right here. But also, not getting a hold of me. Not, uh, you know, not grabbing me. Like so. And he should, yep, he gets stuck on that corner. I don't know why he gets stuck on that corner, but... He does for however long, I'm not too sure how long, but... He just kind of like glitches trying to turn it. I don't know, but I'm okay with it. That means he's not really chasing me, so... Yeah, less for me to worry about. <laughs> Alright, now we, uh, we're gonna be jumping out a window here in a second. In style, of course. Wayland Park style. Such a way with words, Eddie. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Moving on. This next part, I do have a strategy for. It is kind of a bitch way of doing it, but it works. All right. Because I was actually uh, kind of struggling with this part in Nightmare, or at least you know I wasn't really comfortable with it. But uh, kind of figured out a little way to do it. All right, we're gonna use our battery just for a second here, so I can see the table. I need to hop over. There's our man's chilling in the vent duct. He's a wannabe Chris Walker. <laughs> some of you may got that. Some of you may not have. But 
Alright. <clears throat> so, I'm not gonna really explain it. I'm just gonna kinda do it and uh, execute it the best I can. And I think you'll kinda see what I mean. See, luckily, no characters in this game that chase you can squeeze through gaps. They just don't know how to do it. So, that is what we're gonna be taking advantage of right now. So we're gonna grab this key. And it's gonna be this gap right here. So, we're gonna push this out of the way and open this door. But Eddie, if you know, comes around over on this other side here. So, instead of going out there, we're gonna squeeze back through this gap and wait for him to come back this way. Because, you know, we are a little immobile. You know, we got ourselves a nice little hobble, nice little limp and everything. So he actually will come back this way. Maybe. He should. Okay. There we go. <laughs> he lost me for a second. He's like, oh yeah. He's probably juking me. Alright. So he's going to come over here. Alright. He's going to get pretty close to us. And now, since this is open, we are going to book it. Because he's going to try and meet us here. So we're just going to hobble past him. And yeah, he's not even near us. So this works pretty well. And then up, and we are good. I just gotta walk through this very dark kitchen again. That I, God, I can't see anything. <laughs> this is bad. Okay. I think I see the door. I think. Okay, yeah, there it is. Alright. And we are good. Now we're gonna get beat up. <laughs> All right, and there is Eddie Gluskin. Uh, you know the the. I mean, okay. I, I really don't feel sorry for him. I really don't. I know some people do. Me personally, no. <laughs> but he's out of the way, and that is actually the last enemy encounter. Pretty much, <laughs> like I'm. I'm pretty sure you can't die from this point on. So we have now basically completed uh, Whistleblower on insane mode and without using a battery. So. Pretty awesome. Pretty great, pretty great. We're just gonna hobble on through <laughs> through the rest of the asylum. And get the hell out of here. And uh, I want my achievements. <laughs> oh my god. The game does not like me. <laughs> Moving that quick. Alright, there's stupid Dr. Traeger. I always think it's funny right there. They're saying they're like, do, do we check his pulse? He's like, nah. Let's just let's just say he's dead. <laughs> just just no. Where am I going here? Wait, where am I going? I can't see anything. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what? I can't see anything. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm getting stuck on everything that's possible to get stuck on. <laughs> Just because I can't see. And here's the most beautiful hallway in the game of Outlast I've ever seen. You know, you know, with some added, you know, bodies and blood and gore. Like, of course, it's, not, it's Outlast. You know, you can't not have that. Wait, I did just realize we are sprinting now. I guess Wayland decided that his leg didn't hurt anymore, so now he's just sprinting. Seems legit. Makes sense. Alright. Now we, we're all gonna just watch Jeremy Blair get tore apart here. Like we have to. Alright, it's a must. Oh, don't you worry, everybody's about to know. I love his little, like, really high-pitched scream at the end, right before he explodes. <laughs> Damn it, Waylon, you should have recorded that. That would have been something great to put in the little exposing footage you made. Or you upload here. Alright, look, you got that plot armor, you good. I know you just got stabbed. You know, you, your leg is... It's pretty messed up, too, but you know what? We're good. Oh. And now we're back to hobbling, because I got stabbed in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's cool. Alright, at this part, it's tradition. I always gotta just take a look back 
at that hellhole of Mount Massive. <laughs> okay, that's enough. I'm dip on out of here. I'm gonna expose Murkoff real quick. I'm gonna get my two achievements. All that good shit. <laughs> Later. Yeah, I mean, at least I guess he gets this on recording. Wait a minute, where'd you, where'd you get that battery life from? Huh? <laughs> I didn't have that. Oh, well, that's just not fair. That's just rude. Skirt on out of here. Whew. Barely makes it. Barely makes it. You press that button. It's not going back, Mr. Park. There's enough hard evidence in that video file to make a world of shit for our friends at Murkoff. You got out of Mount Massive alive, and we've done everything in our power to cover your tracks. Uh -huh. Our enemies are twitching and malicious corporate paranoiacs with resources you're too moral to imagine. You won't be the only target. Anyone you care about, your wife, your child, there'll be nothing to Murkoff but ways to hurt you. I need you to understand the bridge you're crossing. Listen, my guy, I just you want my achievements. <laughs> You might even get close to something like justice. Yeah, I don't know about that. Once you click upload, your life is over. Like I'm not even gonna hesitate. Everyone you love is fucked. I'm not even gonna hesitate. But it's the right thing to do. Hell yeah, it's the right thing to do. Is hurting Murkoff worth that much to you? Absolutely. Ready? Ready? Not even gonna hesitate. Okay, Wayland does a little bit, but and upload. Hell yeah. Document received. Boom. Where's my achievements? Let me see them. Give them to me now. Right now, game. There's one. Only 0.14% of people. <laughs> and where's my second one? Come on, let's see it. Where's the second one? Where's the second one? I'm waiting. Wait, is there not even a second one? Is there actually not? <laughs> oh shit, never mind. My bad. There, there is no achievement for not reloading your battery. So I just did that for no reason, really. Ah, whatever. It's something to add, I guess. You know, that took a little more skill than if I was to reload my battery. You know, I couldn't see there for just a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, still don't have the uh, Energizer achievement, which uh, I almost did get, but uh, my finger slipped, and I accidentally reloaded my camera. If you want to know the video I'm talking about, you can click the tab popping up right now. Go check that out. I was royally pissed off but there it is finish the dlc in insane mode unlocked on april 9th 2020 only 0.14 percent of gamers have unlocked this at 5 24 p.m that's what i'm talking about all right with that being said guys i hope you did enjoy the video if you did make sure to like button guys new to my channel subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video Time. Used to feel like that shit was my lifeline Yeah, we kept it cool, feeling so high Young, so young, so in the summertime